Hi, this is Maya Isaksson from the Spectrum Noir design team uh, and today I'm going to show you how to dress up your embossed backgrounds with aqua tints. Um, so I start by using an embossing folder and uh, emboss a piece of cardstock uh, with something I like. This is uh, some cross-stitch cross kind of hearts uh, that I had in my stash. And I use a piece of cut and dry foam to color it with the metallics. Uh, in this case I use the gold aqua tint. And I just dab it off on something first so it doesn't get so splotchy and I get a lot in one place. Uh, and I try to sort of smooth it out all over the background. Um, so for this first one I was a bit afraid to add too much, so uh, I rather added a bit. Uh, I was a bit cheap, <laughs> so I could have used more uh, of the aqua tints and uh, uh, the cut and dry foam wasn't really used before, so it was a bit dry. And you can see it turned out a bit streaky here. So what I did to fix it was to add some water to it uh, and then sort of go over it again and try to dab it so it's more of a spongy sort of look than a streaky one. And uh, in the end it doesn't really matter because we're adding some color on top of this uh, to sort of make it uh, more interesting. So I just dry it off and leave it like this. Uh, and the unevenness actually makes it look uh, kind of pretty in the end when you add color on top of it. Uh, so don't worry too much about that. And uh, this technique is great for all kinds of uh, uh, embossing folders I think. Uh, everything looks good with a bit of shimmer on it. And you can use the silver one, uh, the silver aqua tint instead if you feel like it. So here I use some uh, red distress ink on top of it. Uh, and you can see that the the shine or the shimmer from the gold is showing through this aqua uh, this uh, embo sorry uh, distress ink that I apply on top, uh, and I try to make it a bit lighter in the middle and then sort of fade it out so it's darker uh, on the edges. So it sort of frames the whole piece. Um, and I think I go in with a darker color for the edges too, some sort of purple. Um, yeah, the purple one. So just to sort of make it a bit darker around the edges. And as you can see the the, the raised embossing sort of picks up a bit more color than the, the lower parts, so it's kind of a nice look. It, uh, it makes the embossing appear a bit more. So this is how it turned out. And I think it's really pretty when it's shiny and, and sort of uneven looking. So uh, since this is sort of an easy technique, I wanted to show you another variation uh, and for this one I used uh, craft colored cardstock and I made a, a wood pattern, wood grain pattern. And the craft colored card cardstock makes it a bit darker and more muted. And here I learned that you didn't have to really be so careful when adding the, the gold ink, so I sort of smushed on a lot. Uh, and it sort of soaks in and it, uh, it's ki you kind of need a bit more for the darker color uh, for it to look more shiny. But it doesn't cover up the color completely. So after I dry this I go in with uh, sort of a, a darker brown shade to make it look more like real wood but with a gold shimmer on it. So I also heat it a bit on the back side because uh, if it buckles up it sort of smooths out again. 
So here I go in with a lighter, uh, no, a medium sort of brown, and it was it was a bit too light, I think, but I went over the whole thing with this first. Um, and it still it it does look good, but I thought it needed a bit more contrast. So that's when I decided to take a really dark color of ink and add it. Um, and I still didn't think I didn't feel like the wood grain pattern was clear enough. So I actually took the the ink pad and I just carefully smushed it on top of the raised area to make it more more uh, visible. And then I dried it off and I made a card of this too. And I will show it after you see me drying this. Uh, and I hope you got inspired to add some shimmer to your projects in this way. It's really easy and it's a lot of, of fun. And I always keep forgetting to use my embossing folders. Uh, but this makes it more more fun to color them and uh, yeah so this is how it turned out and thank you very much for looking and I hope to see you again soon have a good day bye